Good uh, morning. So, first of all, I just noticed that I have over 100 subscribers now. And yes, that is not much compared to what a lot of people have. But to me, it's just amazing that 100 people has subscribed to my channel. That, uh, and I know that compared to a lot of people, my videos get very few views. I don't think I have any over 300 views and most of them get like 20, somewhere between 15 and a few 20 something views. But to me it's just, <laughs> it's uh, really amazing that people are actually watching these videos, even if it's only a handful of people. So I do really want to thank you all that has subscribed to me. It makes me very happy. So yeah, thank you so much. Now to the topic of this video. I'm very interested in divination. And I do divinations for myself and for friends and family, but I want to get some more training in divining for others. So I've seen a few other people on YouTube do this and I matched and I was thinking, yeah, why not? So I am offering anyone who wants to a free reading. Now you can choose whatever divination tool that you want me to use that I know how to operate. I am best with tarot cards. I also do oracle cards, runes, scrying, um, dice divination, and dowsing. So if there's any of those that you want a reading in, just either uh, send me a private message on YouTube or comment down below and I will get to you as soon as possible. Now there's a few rules. The number one rule is that I will not answer questions about that. Now, I have had a video before where I had a little debate with Vika Gem about whatever or not you can see death in divination and I definitely think that you can but I don't think I am in any way shape or form qualified for that and also I don't think that we have a set hard and fast destiny that can't be changed. I think that when you divine something about the future, what you get is a possible future. Basically what will happen if you continue on the path you are now without changing it. So if I, I will not answer a question about that and if that do show up in a reading, I will phrase this as I see some danger. Also, I will be... Uh, I'm reluctant to answer questions about things like infidelity and the like, because basically I can be wrong. The best um, at divination, <coughs> excuse me, are only like 85-90% accurate and I don't want to end up putting a wedge in someone's relationship because of something I might be seeing wrong. So if I see infidelity and that sort of thing I might try to phrase it a bit more, um, what shall we say, I won't lie. I will never lie in uh, to someone I'm reading for, but I will probably not go out and say I think your partner is unfaithful to you. I would rather say you and your partner might be having some difficulties up ahead and you might want to talk with him or her about trust issues, that sort of thing. Basically, I will be a bit careful with what I say. Anyway. If you want a reading, what you should do is write to me. And what I need to know is the question. I need to know what sort of divination tool you want me to use. And I want need to know whatever or not you want to reply as a video that I pause. Or if you want me to just write you a PM with the reply. And also if you 
are okay with me posting a video about it, whatever or not I should use your nickname when making that video or if I should just uh, say the person I am reading for. Basically, I'm very concerned about privacy in these matters, so I definitely understand it if you don't want a video up there when you might ask some sort of private question and suddenly there's a video out there with your nick and everything and yeah. So basically, you, you decide if I can post it as a video or if I should just PM you with the, with the reply. Now, you don't have to be subscribed to me or anything like that if you want a reading. I will will uh, answer those that send me a message. But I do, of course, appreciate subscriptions. I'm not gonna lie about that, even if I don't nag about it in every video I make. I do, sub I do appreciate it. But, yes. So, just post me a message with the divination tool you want me to use, the question you want answered, and whatever or not, I should post this as a video, and if so, if I should use your nickname, or just say the person I'm reading for, or whatever or not, I should just uh, write up the answer and send it to you. Now, I cannot guarantee that what I read will be correct. Nobody is 100% correct all the time and also I have never read for somebody over the internet well actually I think I have once or twice on forums but it's not something I've done a lot and it's very different to read for someone that you don't know than if you're reading for yourself or someone that's sitting across the table from you so take what I say as advice and take it for what it's worth I cannot guarantee that it will be correct all I can say is that I will do the best I can. Also, <coughs> what this offer is not here for is for atheists and other skeptics to say, oh, you get a thing wrong, ridicule, ridicule, ridicule. Because, like I said, I can be wrong, definitely. And also, I'm not here to convince you about the existence of the supernatural. Now you can say all you want that it's my that, that since I'm claiming that these things are real, that it is, I have to provide evidence. Yeah, that would be so if I wanted to convince you, but I don't. I just want to have my faith that divination is possible, that magic is possible in peace, and you can believe whatever you want. Because I think that faith in these things comes to those who are ready for it. And if you are completely close to it, then probably that is the path you need to be on now, or possibly forever, for your being to be will come out the best. I don't think that everybody should believe the same. I think there's different path for everyone. So in short, this offer isn't meant to be a sort of let's test your abilities because while I definitely don't mind reading to atheists, by all means, I'll read to you. Not a problem. I don't like being... I don't like a situation where you are going to be judging me or be ridiculing me for everything, every mistake I do. I know that that will make me nervous, which will make the readings I am able to perform much poorer. Now, if you want to have a let's test out what you can do, then you are free to contact me and we will see what we can do about that, because I'm not completely opposed to something like that. but. This offer I'm having here is more that I want to learn more about divination and I want to get better at reading for others. And then I might as well, and I know that many people like having a reading done. 
So, uh, then it's a win-win for everyone. I get training, they get a reading. Everybody's happy. And that's the point of it. So, in short. I, I do want you to keep in mind that I might not be correct, so don't take everything I say at face value. Take it as advice. And... Yeah, I think it's important to be very, very responsible when it comes to divination, especially when you are divining for others. And it's also important to be responsible when you are the receiver of a divination. Because you have to be responsible with how you use the information. Perhaps what I'm saying won't make any sense to you. Perhaps it will make sense to you later. Or perhaps it will be spot on something that will help you. I, I can't really guarantee one way or another. All I can say is that I can do the best I can and you can see what you get out of it. So yeah, if you want a free divination, post down below or PM me and I will get to you as soon as possible. And again, thank you all who has subscribed to me. I really appreciate it. Have a great day and blessed be.